Yeah, it looks midday. I need to go find my guide anyway and figure out how to craft Skeletron Prime's uh, crap. Or do I have a few of those already? I do. Hmm. Anything else I can take for Skeletron Prime? I don't need thorns anymore. I have turtle shell armor. I'll tell you that much. Actually, if anything, I need to be able to combat arena for Skeletron Prime. So before I do anything, I need to finish the combat arena for Skeletron Prime. Because as I said before, the I have Cthulhu arena, it's nice, but it's not Prime ready. Right, the wizard's living over there. Um, where should I build the prime arena? I don't have very long to build this, but ideally, what I'm gonna want is a walkway. And I'm probably gonna need more wood, so I'm just gonna take some right now. That's right, pearl wood shit. Whatever, take it anyway. No time to argue about this. Just take what you get. Um, yeah, you know what? Up here seems like a good place. That's not what I want to switch to, but... Okay, so yeah, this thing has pretty good DPS. Yeah, I have to get you switching to one now. Uh, the pixies have slowed me. That was annoying for a few seconds. Okay, it seems about as high as I want it to be. Um, yeah. This isn't happening. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> you gonna attack me and run away? <laughs> oh, you're funny. That's fine. I won't have to deal with you guys in the morning anyway. Or at night. Not to deal with your far worse counterparts, but... Those are always fine. Alright. So first things first, let's just build a platform. I don't really like the idea of fighting in the... Uh, hallowed biome. Just because at night this could get really hairy. But unfortunately it spread this far. So what choice do I have? However, it is probably going to stop in my houses. Matter of fact, it stops right here. I think I'm just going to build a straight up wall right here. Not for any particular reason. But I am going to be destroying some of this and bringing it a little bit over. Why? Uh, you're about... I do not want to place that. Stupid torches. So that's... What, nine? Make it ten. So that's... What, six? Or wait, no, one, two, three, four, six. That'll be 10. That's about as far as I want it to go anyway. Now we have our pearl wood. And we're gonna make ourselves our beams. Let's turn it all into that. Why? You will see why. I think I'm gonna go about this high. And I'm not going to build this as a solid platform. I'm actually going to be putting holes in it in various strategic places. But for Skeletron, you kind of need a runway. Because you need to be able to run, you know, fair distances. This is four hole.
I'm gonna be modifying this still, so don't worry about it. Yet. Take another one from here. I think I'm gonna do sound the same level now it's one higher. Cause I still want something like that over there. I'm just trying to I need to stop switching the four. Okay, homing bullets are really cool. I will have to admit. Alright. I don't really think I need this much in the middle. My biggest concern isn't the middle, it's having the side so much taken care of. These platforms are actually almost completely the same length. I just need to move them over. Yeah, I kind of like that better than... So I think my biggest concern with Skeletron is going to be his cannon arm. However, if I can get up here, I should be able to dodge... I get, the only reason I want this up here is for options when it comes to head dodging. For the most part, I really don't need anything else from it outside of head dodging options. Um, looks good enough to me. I mean, the only thing I could possibly maybe want would be a small block there and there. That might actually block me in there, but if I remember they're there, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Alright, so five for heals. One for weapon, five for heals. I really just consider getting blocked in the corner. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is something like this, where I'm running kind of a figure eight. Kind of. And just kind of doing whatever. I'm, I'm probably not going to be coming up from here. I might need to, but I will try to avoid doing that because I can get, I think, better turns if I run below it. Like so. And if I do get trapped in the corner, at least I have this platform here to save me. This is what I'm anticipating. So I'm basically just waiting for the musical cue for night. And then we're going to try Skeletron Prime. If that be him, well, that may be the end of Terraria. Because what's left to do outside of uh, unlocking the chest and just basically grinding for weapons? This is basically the last boss. Isn't that yet? Musical cue. That is the musical cue. Alright, so let's get Scaletron Prime ready. First attempt. Of many, I'm sure it will take. Okay, so I can actually kind of protect from the cans using the above platforms, kind of. Chainsaw arm, I have to remember what that chainsaw arm. Okay, so yeah, these say these seem to do a fair amount of damage. And I do have a long enough one runway to Yeah. See I need to stop trying to do middle jumping. If I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna have to jump over here. For the reasons I basically predicted. So if I remember correctly, his head is the one that does the most damage. If you get hit by his head, it's basically GG. You're done. Uh, I almost got trapped in a the corner there. And even if it doesn't look like I'm trying to hit him, I'm just trying to basically bundle up when I get to these corners. 
as much of these chains as possible. Try and get him to run into his mind. Keep forgetting to switch delay sometimes on the uh, thing if you've been holding down. So if I'm going to switch weapons, I have to actually fully commit to stop using for about a second before. Just build up here. Just build up here. I didn't not think that jump for Randra. See, in a situation like that, where I know I'm probably going to take a hit, it's actually better to try and pick what you're going to get hit by. Because under any circumstance, you want to avoid get, getting hit by his head. It's the worst thing you can possibly get hit by. Because it is the highest damaging thing he has. And he is already hurting really badly. So what I can do now is I can just basically just start building up for... Uh, Head progress which should go to about there. And he's probably gonna come from this angle just in case. I will throw up a wall. He is gonna take hits. At this point, I basically won the fight. And the rubber in I can basically use this. <laughs> In this case, it's probably the higher DPS weapon. And also doesn't miss. And there you go. That has been Terraria. <laughs> so, what have we learned? Well, not to forget about your souls of uh, fright. You kind of need those. <laughs> I actually buy a second one if I wanted. But the series isn't about grinding for uh, stuff. Also, where did you come from? Huh. So that's that. So I got Skeleton Prime's trophy. Which I don't believe I got one from the Destroyer, which is unfortunate, but... It's fine because, in all honesty, Skeleton Prime is the better trophy to have on your wall. There you go. That is all bosses. Four bosses in one session. Wasn't expecting that, but you know what? That was good. I did the work. I put in the effort. You didn't even get to see me use my frost armor off screen to light up stuff in the caves. Didn't really need to either. But you know what? Actually completely forgot to drink my iron skin and regeneration potion. Not that I needed them. <laughs> Silly. Oh boy. So we got a fair amount of souls here, and. You know what? Let's see what we can craft these things before we go. Let's end up with some crafting. I mean, it's only right. Actually, just take all these. Forget. Well, I should probably make his Excalibur, even though it's not that great of a sword. There is a second version of Excalibur you can get. For those who do happen to get lucky in the Eclipse event. That's right, my guide is also down here. I originally built this house down here, in case you're wondering, for the Mushroom Man. And then, it turns out, when he died, he just moved up there. That's fantastic. So for crafting, what can we do with these Souls of Fright? A naughty present with Ectoplasm, which I've never found yet. I'm sure ghosts drop Ectoplasm, I just have never had the privilege to find it. Summons the Frost Moon. Transforms Holder and Merfolk, which seems useless. A Flamethrower. And some illegal gun parts. Souls of Fright. Uh, frozen Key. Here we go, except I need the Frozen Key Mold. So this is basically used for all of the keys. Okay, so Fright isn't that great. What about Sight? Magic Harp, which in all honesty isn't that great of a weapon. And the Rainbow Rod, who? The Rainbow Rod, if I remember correctly, is actually probably the best weapon. Or at least one of the best magical uh, weapons, anyway. 
I want to go for that, but I don't think I have the unicorn horns for it. Which sucks. Because that means we won't really be cracking anything. I mean, I can always make the harp, but the harp, in all honesty, is not as good as what I currently have. So, yeah. That'll basically do it for Terraria, I guess. Yeah, I only have one unicorn horn. Unless I'm keeping him in a different chest. I might be. The only other chest that could possibly be keeping him in is this one. Which does not look like I am. And on here. If you're not in there and not in there, then there are my potion chests, which I seriously doubt. Uh, no, they're not. Which means that just dies. This is random shit at some point because it's got tired. Yeah. I don't have them. I bought a total of one unicorn horn. That's not going to cut it. I'll tell you that much. Didn't even make the Dow of Pal. Oh, you know what? I didn't need to. I beat the game. I beat it without needing to make a bunch of stuff. But you know what? Beating is beaten, and therefore that is the end of this series. So I hope you guys have enjoyed Terraria for what it was. Got a few extra cross necklaces. I basically just beat everything by myself solo. Using, for the most part, only my scythe. Used a little bit of the uh, mini shark on Skeletron Prime, mostly just because I was tired of seeing there taking pot shots at his head. But yeah, I probably could have even done that with the safe without upgrading it. The safe is just ridiculous, and I got that off screen. It's the one thing where, if there's one thing to change the momentum of a series, it's been this scythe. Because before I got the scythe, I literally, like, I tried the mushroom spear and that, it was not working out. Because the mushroom spear had to be, it gets slower, for stars. And the line mushrooms is nice, but I think they disappear on contact with enemies. Which is not so great. The scythe doesn't. It's a much better weapon. Just in terms of, like, the projectile it shoots. It's so good. The spinning action don't can really just mince group enemies too. That's the best part of it. It's kind of broken. It will probably get nerfed, but you know what? I don't know why I'm waiting around now. Maybe I'm hoping for a random eclipse. It's probably not going to happen. I actually looked up on the wiki. Eclipses have a 4% chance of happening on any given night. Or not night, but at the start of any given day. And it just turned to day and there was no eclipse. So yeah, that'll be it for Terraria. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I didn't even need to use the teleporters or anything. In all honesty, I probably didn't even need to take out the Cobalt Shield, which I'd taken out from the dungeon only in case I had to resort to Hellstone. Did not have to. That was far easier than I thought. I'm honestly surprised I got past the twins. It was close there for a while. I got one down they had like three hearts for a while. I was waiting for my potions to recharge and that was close. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. I mean, you know, I had fun coming back to it, despite a lot of frustration and, like, easily over 20 hours of off-screen work between sessions. Not just between my last session and this session, but, like, actually, probably between my last session and this session, there's been a total of around 20 hours of off-screen work. But, like, a lot of the stuff that happens in, in this game that allow me to beat these bosses happened off-screen, because a lot of it... Is literally just grinding down and, you know, gathering resources from different areas and dying a bunch until you get enough to kind of make yourself tanky enough to take a few hits. Which is basically what the second, what the hard mode of this game entirely comes down to. is just perseverance and, you know, sticking with it. Doing a little bit of research, you know, getting better armors. And a lot of that isn't exactly fun to watch, so that's why I did a lot of that stuff off screen. Because I'm, I'm, as much as you guys like Terraria, I'm sure you guys would get tired of it after 20 hours of being in a cave dying repeatedly. Which happened plenty of times. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this game. Hope you guys have... Hope you guys maybe bought the game? I don't know. The game's been out for a while. It's pretty cheap, too. Like, for the amount of gameplay you get out of this game, it's really well-priced. To say the least. But yeah... I haven't even explored half the... Like, I did all the new bosses, but I still haven't explored every single weapon in the game. Like, this is, like, one of the newest endgame weapons, obviously, this Golden Fist, which... I honestly... 
Yeah, never even used it against anything, but... I'm sure I could probably use it against the twins to... Yeah, because his rapid fire has no delay on the firing, so if you get something really close, you can just do this repeatedly. And there's nothing stopping you, but the Scythe is just way better in terms of DPS for that. But yeah, that's going to be it for Terraria. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys when I start uh, my next new series, which might be Starbound at this point, but it's still in beta. So there's really not going to be much to do in Starbound either. But whatever, I'll, I will see you guys next time.